Okay, so this is just to like preserve my legacy here. All right, this is no diss to the game, diss to his album. I think it's a fly album, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to about to run that joke right now, actually. Anyway, so I want to give y'all the backstory to One Life, the song him and I did. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. And the game, if you're listening, man, if you got time, you know, other than being the GOAT, uh, don't retire, because I called you Unk. I call everybody Unk that's dope to me with the cool jokes, whatever. Either way, here's the story, people. So I pull up to the studio, and it's like a room full of dudes, everybody smoking, having a good time, cool. But immediately I'm just like, yeah, I can't sing in here. Cause I've never like sung a record in, in a room full of people and it actually make it on the record. You know what I'm saying? I usually just cut demos if it's just like a vibe and we all having a good time, right? I ain't know how the hip hop game work. Let's dive in. So boom, he plays a beat, beat's phenomenal. And then I'm just like, all right, let me just kind of cut this idea over there, see how the room feels. Boom, I do what I do, best I can with the, with the ganja Mary Jane in the air, and everybody vibing. He's like, yeah, oh, boom. He texts somebody, throws his phone. He's like, yo, underneath that couch, it's a gun. I should shoot you, that was so good. I was like, okay, bad. Anyway, is that so you, you digging this? And he's like, yeah, man, yo. You said, a lot of tree, a lot of gin? Hey, yo. So everything was cool, the whole room was vibing. Um, even this one dude with like a, a myriad of face cast was like, oh man, this is making me feel something. Hold on. <laughs> and after he got done beating somebody up, he was just like, yo, I wanna stop doing bad things to people that piss me off because of this song. And I was like, hey man, appreciate it. Anyway, so cut the demo. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is dope. So cut the sax. My sax is a whole woman. So like when the preferences ain't right, it's like, I'm freezing in here. It's freezing. Like my sax is like that. So it was too cold in the room for the sax to have the tone that I'm used to and known to, uh, to produce. I want y'all to hear what the record was supposed to sound like if I got the chance to actually turn in vocals in my own studio. So I'm about to play it so y'all can hear what I really was thinking in my head. And I played tenor on it, the harmonies is lush. So yeah, to me, I was like, yeah, I love this in history, but I can't play this. But you should play this, but keep this in your mind when you're hearing it. Like, oh, this is what this nigga was doing. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, you know, if that made no sense to you, you can ask me my skin regimen. <laughs> my dad, if it had I might as be a better man. Yeah. And I see a reverend. 